What's up everybody, Jason back here with another diecast review tonight. I'll be taking a look at Kyle Larson's 2013 Clorox 124th scale Camaro. Before I get to the diecast, let's go to the box. On top there we have a good image of Kyle Larson. Got the NASCAR Nationwide Series logo. Kyle Larson, number 32, generic Camaro Nationwide car in the background there. Of course we have the Lionel NASCAR Collectibles, the official diecast of NASCAR, and 124 scale stock car limited edition adult collectible on the bottom down there. Side of the box features a NASCAR hologram, render sticker, and action racing collectible still the choice of champions, along with the Turner Scott Motorsports logo and Chip Ganassi Racing with Felix Sabatis down here. NASCAR hologram. Side of the end of the box we have 2013 production sticker that says Kyle Larson, number 32, Clorox, 2013 Camaro, one of 103, Platinum Series. Side of the box is basically the same. Got the generic car once again, 32, his simulated signature. And this end of the box features the render sticker again. So nothing too special about the box. Moving on to the die cast itself, and it's a really nice looking die cast. This car, as you know, is most known for uh, being the car that got catapulted on the last lap up into the catch fence at Daytona, shearing off the whole front half of the car uh, from the firewall forward. So let's uh, take a look at the Kyle Larson Clorox Chevrolet Camaro. On the front here, we have the Camaro, We've got the Chevrolet Bowtie and SS inside of the headlight package there. We have the number 32 and Turner Scott Motorsports with Clorox up on the hood, of course. We have Nationwide up on the front window banner. Go ahead and open up the hood. Take a look at the engine. There's your engine detail. Got Chevrolet bow tie on the inside of the hood. For uh, contingencies on the front bumper, we have Moog, Molly, Comp Cam, and Sunoco. Above the front tires, of course, we have the typical Goodyear logo. Nothing too special with the tires. They didn't have any upgraded tire uh, details back in 2013 on the die cast. Contingencies, we have the NASCAR Nationwide Series logo, Coors Light Pole, Autometer, Jags, Simpson, We've got the Sunoco Rookie of the Year contender logo down there below Simpson, Edelbrock, Mobile One, we have Lil Camaro logo below the 3M and Mobile One logo, Mechanic Wear, and Holly High Performance Carbs. We have NASCAR Race Car up there on the roof post, 32. For contingencies behind the 32, we have Drift, Mac Tools, Lincoln Motor, SEM, and Mechanic Wear. Up on the roof row, we have Kyle Larson with Ream, Brandt, Aguduck, and Chevrolet Bowtie on the B Pillar sponsors. Up on the roof, of course, we have the 32 with the uh, bubble cam featuring functioning roof flaps. Nothing on the C post. We do have Clorox here on the quarter panel with Energizer X and Safety Clean with American Ethanol right there on the quarter panel as well. Back here on the TV panel, we have the Chevrolet Bowtie Camaro, Clorox the 32 and two rookie stripes with the simulated Camaro exhaust sticking out the back bumper cover. We have Kleenex Cottonelle on the deck lid. DIN number of course is 1038, which is in the rear window there. Deck lid does open up featuring the detailed red fuel cell. Passenger side of the car is basically the same, but we do have the exhaust tip sticking out of the rocker panel down there. Overall, it's a great looking piece. I've seen people do custom where they make it a race version, but I haven't done that. Here's your bottom, full working suspension and steering, all four wheels and tires roll. So that's a great car. I do highly recommend picking it up if you can find it. It's not too hard to find, I don't believe. The Elite might be a little more challenging, but eh, you can still find it out there on eBay or third party market. So, so yeah, that is my review of the Kyle Larson 2013 number 32 Clorox Chevrolet Camaro for Turner Scott Motorsports and Chick Ganassi Racing. Be sure to give this review a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I post new reviews every week. Be sure to click the bell for notifications. I don't want you missing out on any of my future reviews. I got a lot of cool ones planned with the 2018 diecast soon to arrive, I imagine. As soon as February before Daytona, I bet we'll start seeing some of the Chevrolet 2018 diecast coming out. 
You can visit me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram by simply searching Jason A. Strain 69 or clicking the About tab above for direct links. So once again, thanks for watching. Have a great night, everyone. Take care. See you next week for an all-new DieCast review. Bye.